This is Paul. I was looking at uh, at this uh, law on you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, they have certain laws in the state of Washington regarding marriage. Right. You can't, uh, you can't marry somebody underage. Yep. Prior existing marriage. Uh, consent obtained under fraud. Yes. <laughs> now... I know I've mentioned to the judiciary that they really don't have the reciprocity of the jurisdiction of the United Nations. <laughs> but let's say I found out that Heidi and myself were matched because of my wealth. <laughs> uh, excuse me. And Washington State decided they were going to dissolve a marriage without any documentation, without any due process. Really, they served me when they arrested me. Yeah. When they arrested me without any jurisdiction. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then they decide, well, we're just going to keep the dissolution of marriage, and if he has a problem, he can motion the court. <laughs> But when you provide a dissolution of marriage without jurisdiction, do I have the jurisdiction to be able to motion the court? I looked at some of the United Nations marriage laws, and in their jurisdiction, you can annul a marriage regardless of the number of years in the event of fraud. Now, considering that my wife paid to have a protection order issued in 2011 where my rights as the respondent were not uh, enforced, they did not issue that 2011 protection order uh, the, that requires a fulfillment, to the, requires the, the law that the respondent be given actual notice and opportunity to be heard. <laughs> I would think that in the United Nations jurisdiction that you can annul a marriage at any time when you find that there was fraud involved in the original marriage. <laughs> Unlike in the state of Washington, it says here that there's a couple year statute of limitations. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> now you can appreciate would I want an annulment instead of a disillusion considering all that I've learned about due process and constitutional rights and entrapment and <laughs> forcibly taking my sons from me because of the use of forgeries. <laughs> Now, somehow I'm thinking an annulment sounds better to me, the American citizen, than a disillusion. <laughs> now, when you decided that you were going to issue the disillusion in 2013, while at the same time violating my constitutional right to due process in 2011, <laughs> somehow I'm thinking that the judiciary is going to remove that dissolution of marriage, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to annul the marriage <laughs> through the United Nations, <laughs> and then we will be separated. Now, Maybe somebody would like to understand the jurisdictional difference of the United Nations versus the state of Washington's jurisdiction. <laughs> now, I don't know how they do marriage in in the military, but I think you would actually have to get there. I noticed that in Japan they have another term for it. I've, I've looked at the enforcement of child support orders, that Hague Convention. Yes. The uh, International uh, Service of Process uh, Conventions. Yes. Now, what I have read is that in the United Nations you can annul a marriage if you find that your wife entered into the marriage in any sort of fraudulent way. I'm going to want that disillusion removed. And I am going to want to annul the marriage.